Imagine waking up one day to complete darkness. No, it's not an extended night, but the sun has vanished. What would happen next? Our world would instantly be thrown into chaos. The sun, our main source of light and heat, provides the energy that sustains life on Earth. Its sudden disappearance would create a ripple effect, culminating in a series of devastating events. The first thing we'd notice would be the darkness. The sun's light takes approximately eight and a half minutes to reach Earth, so if the sun were to suddenly disappear, we wouldn't know about it for about eight minutes. Then, without any warning, day would turn into night. The stars would still twinkle in the sky, but the familiar warmth and light of our sun would be gone. But the darkness isn't the only thing we'd have to worry about. The sun's disappearance would also mean the immediate halt of photosynthesis. This process, which converts light energy into chemical energy, is how plants make their food. Without the sun, plants wouldn't be able to produce the glucose they need to grow. The implications of this are vast and far-reaching. The entire food chain would be disrupted. Herbivores, which rely on plants for nourishment, would starve. Carnivores, in turn, would lose their prey. The ripple effect would reach every corner of the globe, affecting every species on Earth. And let's not forget about the oxygen. Plants not only produce food through photosynthesis, but also release oxygen, a gas vital to many forms of life. Without the sun, the oxygen production would cease, leading to a slow depletion of this life-sustaining gas. In just a few minutes, our world would plunge into darkness. But that's just the beginning. The sun doesn't just light our world, it also holds it in place. Without the sun's gravity, what becomes of our Earth? You see, the sun has a substantial gravitational pull, a consequence of its immense mass. This gravitational pull is what keeps us and all the other planets in our orbital paths around it. It's like we're all tethered to the sun, spinning around it in a cosmic dance held in check by these invisible reins of gravity. Now imagine if those reins were suddenly cut. What would happen? Would we continue spinning in place, like a dancer twirling after her partner has let go? Not quite. According to Newton's first law of motion, an object in motion will stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This principle, also known as inertia, would apply to Earth in the absence of the Sun's gravity. Once the Sun disappears, there's nothing left to curve our path. The Earth, along with the other planets, would continue moving, but not in the familiar elliptical orbit. Instead, we'd move in a straight line into the vast expanse of space. This straight line motion is called inertial motion. It's the path that objects take when there's no force acting on them. So the Earth, bereft of the Sun's gravitational leash, would essentially be set adrift in the cosmos. But it's not just Earth. Every planet, asteroid and even the comets in our solar system would set off on their own straight line journeys. The entire architecture of our solar system as we know it would disintegrate. And it's not just the trajectory of celestial bodies that would be affected. The gravitational pull of the Sun also influences phenomena like tides on Earth. Without it, we'd see a significant change in the oceanic tides, leading to a drastic transformation of our coastal landscapes. So without the Sun, we're not only in the dark, but we're also lost in space. No Sun means no heat. How cold could it get and how fast? Without the sun's warmth, Earth would rapidly descend into a freezing abyss. The sun's heat, a crucial factor for life on Earth, is not just about warming our days. It's a delicate balance that keeps the entire planet fit for habitation, driving weather patterns, ocean currents, and even the very cycle of life itself. As the sun disappears, our planet would find itself in the grip of an ever-intensifying cold. Within the first week, the average global surface temperature would drop to zero degrees Fahrenheit, roughly the temperature of the coldest winter day in Anchorage, Alaska. By the end of the first year, the planet would be a frosty negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. But it wouldn't stop there. As years pass, the Earth would keep cooling, eventually reaching a chilling negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, the gases in our atmosphere, like nitrogen and oxygen, would condense into a solid state, effectively causing our atmosphere to freeze and fall to the Earth's surface as snow. 
This scenario, often referred to as the Big Freeze, would transform our lush, vibrant planet into an icy wasteland. Oceans would freeze from the top down, trapping the marine life beneath thick layers of ice. The polar ice caps would spread across the entire surface of the Earth, covering mountains, plains, and even the deepest valleys. This deep freeze would not only affect the surface, but also penetrate deep into the Earth's crust. The ground, which usually retains some heat from the sun, would also freeze solid. This would cause a halt to the geological processes that shape our planet, such as the movement of tectonic plates and volcanic activity. Without the sun's heat, the Earth would become a silent, frozen sphere, drifting in the cold, dark void of space. This stark imagery serves as a potent reminder of the crucial role the sun plays in sustaining life on our planet. The absence of the sun would turn our blue planet into a frozen wasteland. Could life persist in the absence of the sun? Let's explore the possibilities. In a world bereft of sunlight, most life as we know it would cease to exist. The sun's warmth not only sustains our climate, but also fuels the process of photosynthesis, the lifeblood of most ecosystems. Without it, plants would perish, and the food chain would collapse, leading to a mass extinction on a scale unprecedented in Earth's history. But what if there were exceptions? What if there were corners of our planet that never see the sun even now, yet teem with life? I'm talking about the deep oceans near hydrothermal vents. These vents spew out nutrient-rich, superheated water from the Earth's crust, providing a unique energy source for a host of bizarre creatures. These organisms, known as extremophiles, have adapted to survive in some of the most inhospitable conditions on Earth. They rely on a process called chemosynthesis, which uses the chemical energy from the vents, rather than sunlight, to convert carbon dioxide and water into food. So, theoretically, these creatures could survive even if the sun went out. However, it's important to remember that these extremophiles represent only a tiny fraction of life on Earth. Their existence is fascinating, yes, and it does give us a glimmer of hope. But the harsh reality is that the majority of life on Earth is not equipped to withstand a sunless existence. And even the extremophiles would face challenges. Without the sun's heat, the Earth's surface would freeze over, potentially locking the deep ocean creatures beneath a thick layer of ice. They might survive for a while, but in the long run their fate would be uncertain. So, while it's intriguing to consider the possibility of life persisting in the absence of the sun, the picture isn't rosy. The sun is the lifeblood of our planet, and without it, Earth would become a cold, barren and lifeless place.